Hi everybody, in this video I want to share with you my experience of building my own custom electric guitar from a cheap do-it-yourself guitar kit. Let's start by looking at the kit. The body consists of three parts of a soft wood. The manufacturer says it's Rangas. It has a lot of pores that have to be filled up and the contour is not shaped carefully. The hardware is not the best too, but I'm going to give it a try. The neck is maple. It looks straight and I don't mind the dark spot on the back. The fretboard seems to be rosewood, it is very dry, the dot and nays are not in line and this looks really cheap and shabby. The frets fit well but have some sharp edges. My idea was to build a guitar with a design like a painting from Piet Mondrian. I first created a picture in Photoshop, you've seen it in the intro. At the end of this video you will see if the real guitar matches this template. pre-drilled holes were not set properly, so I decided to plug them with toothpicks. The manufacturer told me that the body had been prepared for painting with a pore filler. I relied on this because I had little experience in painting with spray color, so I did not use any primer. The maple part of the neck is already sealed with a thin coat of lacquer, so I only have to paint the headstock. The fretboard has to be protected against the paint. It will be oiled later. Now it's time for the first layer of white paint. I used the common spray paint from the do-it-yourself store. After the first layer of paint, I realized that it would have been better to use a primer before. I had to use much paint because the wood sucked up a lot of it. Even at the end you will still recognize the pores.
one of the most important things was to work accurate. But even then it was very difficult to produce clear sharp color borders. And it was almost impossible to maintain clear white areas while grinding the colored layers. and grinding took many days. I had to let the parts dry for at least one day after every new layer of paint. Sometimes I had to face small problems because I had not been careful enough with the wet paint. <laughs> Thank you. 
After the last layer of lacquer, I let the body dry for several days. Then I started grinding and polishing it. Again I used common products from a do-it-yourself store. These are usually used for cars. When I finally thought I was almost ready, I detected some strange patterns in the lacquer. They came from the underlying tissue. And furthermore, every fingerprint seemed to stay where it was and I wasn't able to get rid of it. I realized that the lacquer was still too soft and had not dried sufficiently. Two weeks later there was no problem to polish away the patterns and fingerprints. So what is my summary of the project? It was a lot of work, but I definitely would do it again. My guitar can surely not be compared to a professional custom shop guitar or even a good standard guitar. In the end it's a cheap kit guitar, but it's playable and it, the look is unique. And uh, what does it sound like? You can hear it at the end of the video when I played with my small battery amp but you have already heard it in the backing of this video. I recorded all tracks with this guitar as it was when I finished it. I even used the strings from the kit and those were definitely not the best. However, 
The sound is not wow, but okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video, have a good time.